here we go again. The Ford Jeep rivalry is red hot. This is the Bronco Raptor, the high-speed, sand dune jumping Bronco we've wanted for two years. You want big? This Bronco rolls on 37-inch tires for 13.1 inches of ground clearance and 47.2 degrees of approach angle. Ford was gunning for the Wrangler Extreme Recon, which was gunning for the Bronco Sasquatch. Now, the Raptor matches or beats the Extreme Recon in off-road measurements and can wade through about three and a half inches more water than the Jeep. That's more than three feet deep. The engine is a new 3.0 liter twin turbo V6, unlike the three and a half liter in the F-150 Raptor. So it's making less than 450 horsepower, but more than 400. Ford won't exactly say. Everything is re-engineered. The axles come from the Bronco DR racing truck, a Dana 50 rear and a Dana 44 front. The suspension uses Fox bypass dampers, which lets the wheels travel more than a foot. Perfect for a soft landing. The four-wheel drive has a heavy-duty clutch and a higher crawl ratio in first gear. The steering is retuned, the brakes are larger, and the B and C pillars are reinforced. Ford claims 50% greater rigidity than the standard Bronco. And of course, it's bigger. <laughs> way bigger. We already drove the Bronco Sasquatch and thought it was way too wide for most trails. The Bronco Raptor is 6.4 inches wider and more than 600 pounds heavier than the next heaviest Bronco in the lineup. And like the F-150 Raptor, the Bronco has a Baja exhaust mode that promises to be super loud. This baby needs room to play. The interior gets new trim, special seats, and orange seat belts. For now, the Raptor is only available as a four-door with the 10-speed automatic. Ford says it'll be available this summer, but not so fast. The allocations will be very tight. If you have a Bronco reservation, Ford will ask you if you'd like to upgrade to the Raptor. $69,995. That's a lot of cash for an incredibly capable vehicle, but it's less than the Wrangler Rubicon 392. That being said, between the Bronco Raptor's limited initial availability and the anticipated demand, we wouldn't be surprised to see these selling at significantly higher prices. And here's the other thing. What's Jeep's next move? We just tested the Wrangler 392 Extreme Recon, and while it's probably faster than the Raptor, it can't move off-road with the same speed. We think Jeep will make a desert-rated Wrangler like they did with the Gladiator Mojave. They have to, right? If you have a Bronco on order, let us know. Are you going to be upgrading to this Raptor version? We'll test one this summer and let you know how great it really is. But for now, keep watching CarGurus for more new car previews and full reviews.